weather with Chief Meteorologist Michael Coates. We're getting a little bit of an Easter weekend treat here with a total lunar eclipse that's going to be visible for our part of the world. Uh, we're going to be looking at this happening just early tomorrow morning before sunrise. So if you want to get up early or get the kids up early, uh, you're going to have to do it between the hours of 4.16 and just before 6 a.m. The problem I see here with the eclipse, there will be some cloud cover coming in tonight through tomorrow morning. So that may block good eclipse viewing. This is going to be a total lunar eclipse. This is when the moon gets into the shadow and it actually turns that uh, burnt orange or a blood red kind of color there, the orange red color, and that's going to happen right around 6 a.m. So if you can get it just around 6 a.m., that's probably when it's going to be at its peak there. But unfortunately, you see that cloud cover coming in. It's the tail of the system, and that system's coming in. It's a deep area of low pressure right now off the coast of British Columbia. All that, that's cold air. See that spotty cloud cover on the satellite loop? That's cold air, and that's colder conditions coming in here for Sunday and Monday. But ahead of that colder air, we're going to drop some strong winds out of the southwest, and we're going to warm it up to around 60 degrees tomorrow afternoon, but it's going to be a windy Saturday. Now, for tomorrow morning, to get things started here, it's still going to be a cold start to the day, just like the past couple of nights and mornings we've seen. We're going to build in that cloud cover late tomorrow morning on the Vipercast, partly to mostly cloudy conditions. A little bit of snow, scattered snow showers, I want to stress, for Lemhi and Custer and Blaine County. Some of this is going to get into the Snake River Plain tomorrow, but not much. Just a slight chance of a shower for your Saturday. And then Saturday afternoon, a partly cloudy sky. Slight chance of snow around the Snake Highlands and getting into the Continental Divide with spotty showers to get us into Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday morning, again, unsettled. Slight chance of a shower here, but it's going to be colder on Easter and then on Monday with more scattered showers to get us into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week here. Monday morning. A little bit of snow there with some scattered showers into the afternoon and evening hours, and then more showers to get us into Monday evening. All right, so let's talk about the uh, forecast here for your Easter egg hunts. We have temperatures into the 40s tomorrow morning around 10 a.m., and we'll be into the mid 30s for the mountains. The biggest problem here, it's also going to be a bit breezy to get things started for tomorrow morning, so the kids are definitely going to need the jackets. 20s and 30s for tonight's lows, around 32 for Burley, 27 for tonight in Idaho Falls with a high of 58 tomorrow, 60 for Pocatello, mid 50s in Rigby. Lower 50s in Mackey, and then we'll carry the lower 50s into Salmon. 52 in Chalice, and we'll hit 43 for Stanley. Mid 50s for Rexburg, 50 degrees for Ashton and Driggs. We're hitting around 49 for Jackson, 47 for West Yellowstone, 58 in Preston, 56 in Lava Hot Springs, with the lower 50s in Montpelier and Afton. Let me take you to the eight day forecast. You got windy conditions here for your Saturday and Sunday, scattered showers off and on all throughout next week, and it's going to be Hit and miss spring showers. Now, temperatures will be a bit cold here for Monday, and then they're going to recover as we head towards next weekend at the end of the eight day forecast. So, this weekend it's unsettled for Easter. Highs around mid 50s for Sunday, 50 degrees on Monday. Pocatello looking at highs here, pushing at around 60 degrees for tomorrow, mid 50s on Sunday, lower 50s for the high on Monday, and about a 20 to 40 percent chance of rain. That's not a huge chance, but it's going to be unsettled, and we're looking at those spotty sprinkles through around Wednesday. Rexburg looking at highs here around 54 for Sunday, upper 40s on Monday, mid 50s for Tuesday, mid 50s on Wednesday, and overnight lows around 30 degrees. Salmon, you're hitting highs around 58 for tomorrow, 50 on Sunday. Scattered snow and rain showers through Tuesday, and then leading through the rest of the eight day forecast in salmon, temperatures are getting back to around 60 degrees with mostly cloudy conditions. Jackson Hole, highs here at around 52 for Sunday, and we're looking at temperatures into the mid 40s as we go on to around Tuesday. Jackson, you're looking at a bit of also some rain and snow, but very high elevation snow for the most part. All right, and uh, if, if anyone is watching on Periscope, Periscope, we have our cameras set up right over here still. and. We have a very ingenious, we're using well, a recycle I, I bin. I had to somehow make kind of a tripod there so that we could look down and not look right up into the light. So if you have any questions, if you're on Periscope, if you've downloaded that, uh, go ahead. We're giving you a behind-the-scenes tour of the station here, and we'll talk more about that as the, as the newscast goes on. Well, still ahead, a Utah man recently had...